This episode revolves around a system that provides tools for organizations to create and manage their member-oriented websites. There are many organizational clients that use this platform. Each of these client websites is built by local administrators who are typically volunteer members of the organization. The system provides these administrators with certain tools to manage not only the website, but also the relationships with their membership. We're going to look at how a casual non-member user engages with one of these sites. In this case, the user wants to attend one of the organization's public events. Let's see how she does. So I'm registering for a, an event on Tuesday. So under events, maybe. Okay, so I'm going to register for October 29th. And I'll click the register button. And I'll enter my email and press next. It says event registration is not available due to event settings. I think I did something wrong. As she attempts um, to find a way through the registration process, so listen to how she struggles to interpret the cues on the screen. I personally can't register with that e with my own email address for this event. And then it says um, some registration types are only available for members, so I'm thinking that this event I can't register for unless I'm an actual member. So I guess I need to apply for the membership. But I'm also wondering why it says registration and it looks like I can click as a guest and just pay $20. But I can't click on it, so I'm going to try to apply for membership. And then this is where I was earlier. So, there's different membership levels, and I guess I'll go for free. Next. And press next. And then I need to fill out the application form. Let's think about what just happened. As an outsider, the user had to think hard through the event registration process. Initially thinking of herself as a guest of the organization, she ultimately took a chance that applying for a membership was the way to register for the event. How did she feel about that? Having to subscribe and give them my information was probably more than I personally might have, might have wanted to do. Like I, I would have just wanted to maybe be like an external person just wanting to join just that one event and maybe not be a member necessarily. There are multiple levels of membership, but the system seems to put all users through the same sign-up process. It first collects the user's email, then it asks them to complete a rather long membership application form. Our user felt that was a bit too much just for attending one event. If the relationships between the organization and all types of users were the same, then it would make sense to use the same process for signing on. But it's very likely that these relationship types are not all equal. Casual event goers will have different levels of interest and commitment than regular members. And regular members will have different types of involvement than sponsorship members. Ideally, they would sign up and become engaged with the organization in ways that reflect the kind of relationship that they want to have. This implies the need for multiple sign-up user interfaces each one fine-tuned for a given type of member relationship. That kind of tailored approach to engagement would acknowledge the mindset and the aims of each type of user in a more precise way. The result is that the user experience would be more comfortable and probably more likely to support the organization's business aims. What are the general implications of this user story for designers of a multi-level system such as this? Well, it suggests that greater consideration of end-user mindsets can positively affect the user experience for everyone, even the intermediate administrative users. In this case, it could allow the organization to engage in a more precise and meaningful way with the various types of members and prospects. So what can we take away from this user story? Well, for site administrators, consider the mindsets of different kinds of users and where possible use that to build the right kinds of dialogues with them. And for system designers, consider ways to provide flexibilities and options that help site administrators shape their member engagements in more targeted ways.